Today's home workout is a fun fitness adventure. So if you're sat at home and you want to feel energized, then jump up and come and join this. So what we're gonna do, if you haven't already done a warm up, what I would suggest is press pause, march on the spot for say 20 seconds, make sure you are fully warmed up. And then when you're ready, I'm ready to start training you today. So the first move we're gonna do is 40 seconds where we're just gonna be doing a light jog on the spot. Now, if you don't wanna do the jogging, you can simply just march on here and just keep going. So you can see the timer bar on the left, that represents how long we're doing on each exercise. We've got over 15 different moves today. You've got two different scenes, so it's a really fun workout. But this workout also is all about getting you healthy, fit and strong. It's also about making you feel good, so it's good for your physical health as well as mental health. So let's just keep going. I'm not gonna show any previews, we're just gonna go from one move to another, so it also then really works on your motor skills and coordination. So next move, we've got to travel across a bridge for this one. So what we're gonna do with this, we're simply gonna do straight leg kicks. So again, you've got a timer bar. We're gonna be doing this one for about 40 seconds. So with this, make sure you keep your upper body nice and straight, keep those tummy muscles pulled in and you just extend and kick one leg, alternating from one to the other. So this one is really good for improving your hamstring flexibility. It's great at working your core. It is a full body move. And you can see that timer bar. And let's just keep going and tell that timer bar till we reach the end on that one. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be back in that second scene. We're back in the desert, so let's have a look at your next move. So for this one, what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna sweep the arms from one side to the other and tap the foot behind. So if you want to, you can add a little jump with this. So again, this is another full body move. Nice control. So it's gonna really get your heart rate up. So it's improving your heart health as well as your cardiovascular health. And there's your timer bar on the left. And remember this, if you find it a bit too challenging, just make the move a little bit smaller. So if you want to, you can just take the arms so they're not coming as far across or just punch them out in front and you can see there. So we've nearly finished on that one and then we'll look at the next move. So next one, we're back on the bridge. This time now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the knee up and across. You've got both arms above your head and bring that knee slightly over as if you're taking it over towards the opposite hip. So here what I'm doing is really working through your waist. We're working through the core. We're working through your mobility. We're working stability as well. And we're halfway through this move. So each move we're doing approximately 40 to 45 seconds and no repeaters. So they're fun moves, full body. Let's just keep going and last few seconds coming up. All right, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to go back in the desert. So for this one, I want you to run for six, six counts, and then you're gonna jump for two jumps and then take it back to a run for six. So again, if you don't wanna do the high impact with this, what you can do is just march for six and then give me two toe taps, side taps on there. So just make sure you land nice and softly. So we're taking to that to those six runs, jump and jump, keeping that going. So as your online trainer here on, on YouTube, I just like to, for all my subscribers, trying to think outside the box for you, try and give you fun, different workouts and just make fitness part of your lifestyle. So this one is a little bit different, but I thought it'd be really nice to try another virtual workout. So for this one, what I want you to do is do a heel dig and then you're pulling your arms down. So your arms are extended and just alternate with those heels. So this one here, also now really nice for working flexibility through your lower part of your leg. We've done the hamstrings, so now we're working a little bit more through what's known as your gastronemius and just really pull through with those arms. You can also really focus here on keeping those core muscles pulled in tight. So you just do that by keeping your belly button pulled in tight to your spine. All right, that's good. And this is also really gonna help with your coordination as well and keeping that going. So we can see that time bar's done. So next move, this time you're gonna do a double arm swing over 
and then you're just taking the knee up so no jump with this one but this one takes again it's also really working your motor skills and this is part of the training that I wanted to do with you today about how quickly you can react how quickly you can come into that position all right that's good so this one here is great for your core it's obviously good for your upper body as well as lower body so it's another full body move and you can just see that timer bar Okay, that's good. And three, take that two and one. So for your next move on here, what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to take that to a toe tap in front and you're just going to push your arms out to the side. So they're in a slight V position and just extend that foot in front. So this one now gives you a nice stretch through the front of the thighs known as your quadriceps. And then we're also really working through your arms plus the latissimus dorsi, those muscles on your back they're your biggest back muscles and they're just helping as you extend that arm up and bring that back down all right that's good just keeping that going nice control and remember as i always say in all these videos if you want to come back and do this one tomorrow you don't have to listen to the narration you can put on your favorite motivational music all right that's good so next move coming up but this time now what we're going to do is we're going to go for doing a run and then we're just going to change the arm position so you punch the arms in front side and above so go in front side and above just make sure you're landing nice and softly with the feet on that and again if you don't want to do the running with this simply take it to a march so you're marching it out and just follow that arm movement on there so in front side and punch in front and also while you're at home make the most of the space that you've got you know you can run around the room you don't have to do this on the spot and keeping that going that's good in front side and up punch in front side and up all right so next move this time now we're going to work through your abdominals we're going to go four of these side reaches once we've done four we're going to hold it there we're going to have arms up and we're going to do four rotations on here so this one reach to the side and cross that's good and then just take that those arm twists and again reach from one side to the other nice control so this one here is all about really working through your core we're shaping into the waist working into your internal and external obliques that's good doing really well and let's go last three take it to and one on there all right well done so we're back in the desert and the next move that we're going to do for this one is we're just going to take that straight back now to doing a run on there land nice and softly and then go two kicks so you're going to run for four hold and then give me two kicks so it's four runs and then take that two kicks so again with this one if you want to take it to a march and then go for four kicks land softly and really add some power with those kicks. So it's four runs and then kick and kick. So this one here is great for hamstrings. So we're also then working through the glutes as you power that kick, then taking that straight back to that run. And we're nearly finished on that one. So let's have a look at the next move. For this one here, what we're gonna do is step forward in a squat and now reach up, calf raise. Now step back in a squat and reach up, calf raise. So keeping that going and just imagine you're on that wobbly bridge, it's very high up as well. And then reach up. So we're gonna squat in front, travel that, calf raise and back. So you're reaching up. So again here, another full body move. Also, we're working lots of components of fitness here because we're working on endurance, plus we're working balance, which is really important as well. All right, that's good. Travel that forwards, reach up, travel it back, extend those arms up as you do that calf raise. And well done. All right, so let's have a look at the next move. So this one, we're gonna hop from one side to the other and on the fourth, try and hold it for a little bit. So you go four hops and then hold. So this one here is really gonna work the stability and balance as well. And you can go as fast as you want on here. Also, if you want to make it a little bit harder, take that jump from one side to the other, make it a little bit wider. So this move, especially what we're doing is we're doing what we call a lateral move. So because we're going from side to side, it means now we're really 
working and focusing through those outside leg muscles as well. So just keeping that going. What we're going to do after this exercise, we're going to take a quick water break and we've only got then five minutes left of training today. So if you want to take longer for a quick break, then you can always hit that pause button as well. Okay, so next move, we're going to go for doing a knee lift, then straight leg kick. So it's knee lift, straight leg kick. What I want you to do is really focus keeping your upper body nice and straight for me and just extend that leg. So it's knee and then straight leg. So this one here, again, you're going to be really working through your core, working again, arms, legs. So it's another full body move. That's good. Just keeping that going. And well done. So we've got less than five minutes to go on this workout today. And extend that leg, knee, straight leg, knee, and then that leg lift. All right, so let's have a look at the next move. So for this one, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running on the spot, but just imagine now you are climbing up a ladder. So again, if you don't wanna do the high impact on here, just simply march this out. Just keep lifting those arms above your head. So this one here, really good cardiovascular move, keeping that going. And again, you can be doing this on the spot at home or if you've got enough room, then be running around the room, but just try and keep those arms up. So that's gonna be challenging you. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. All right, that's good. And let's just go last few seconds. Keep making sure that you're landing nice and softly with your feet on there. And you are now done on that move. So let's have a look at the next one coming up. So for this one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna toe tap and just sweep both arms across from one side to the other and really exaggerate that toe tap. And if you want to work your inner thighs here a little bit more, then what you can do is really take that foot over the line of the opposite foot and just swing through those arms. And also this one, you'll really notice this, feel it as well through those abdominals. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. So we've nearly finished today's workout. We've just got a few more moves and just swing those arms from one side to the other and just keep focusing on what you're doing right now. You're just investing in your health and your mental health as well. All right, so for the next move, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna run for four, then four star jumps. So it's run for four and then take that four star jump. So if you don't wanna do the high impact, just focus on going for me a low impact and then you can just do four side steps. So just keep that going, doing really well. So this one here is really great, getting the heart rate up and it's these quick transitions going from one move to another. So four star jumps and let's bring that straight back now. Running on the spot for four and then take that straight up, doing really well. You can see that timer bar, we've nearly finished on this move. So let's just keep that going. All right, so next move, let's have a little look at the next one coming up. This time now, we're just gonna do as if you were doing a march, but with a straight arm and take that foot behind. So this one here, again, it's a low impact, this one, but still working through all the joints. If you think about it, working through your shoulder joint, working through the hip joint, as well as the knee joint. So it's a low impact move, but full body, keeping that going. So you're just tapping that foot behind, alternating the arms, Doing really well. And we've only got a couple more moves after this one, so let's just keep going. We've nearly finished today's workout. And just go last few. And also just really focus on thinking about how much you are investing right now in your health. So next move, this is just a skater's lunge, just going from one side to the other and just draw that arm across. So again, this one here, is a lateral move and we're also doing a little bit of a rotation and a twist because as you know in all my workouts I like to try and include as many different planes of motion so we're just getting that full body workout just keeping that going all right that's good so we have just got two more moves after this one so we've nearly finished today so well done if you are still training with me and let's just go last few. We've got a really lovely abdominal exercise for the next one. So we are gonna be back on our wobbly bridge. And with this one, you're gonna to stand to the side. Now imagine we've got a tug of war, piece of rope, and I want you to pull it as hard as you can from one side to the other for four. Then we're gonna hold and we're gonna just do these waist twists 
for four and alternate. So imagine there's that piece of rope, pulling it as hard as you can. And throughout both these moves, really focus on keeping your hips nice and still and just pull and pull from one side to the other, doing really well. Reach from one side. So this one here, again, we're really working through your abs, we're working the core, working into your waist. And we're also working through that flexibility through your trunk as well. And last little bit. All right, well done. And really pull that hard. Okay, so we are now on your last move. So I want you to go for rolling arms. Again, you are running. This is the last bit of training today. You've done so well. So I said, it's a really fun workout this. Um, I'm no filmmaker by any means, but I just wanted to have a go at doing something a little bit different for you just to keep you moving, keep you healthy, fit and do share it with any of your friends and family. All right, so remember, if you don't wanna do the jog, you can simply just march this on the spot. Just keep those arms rolling over from one to the other. And now just give me a few sunshine arms and we are just gonna take that intensity right down. And we're just gonna now bring that back to a basic march. And if you could just march on the spot. So hopefully now I've brought the sunshine to you. The sun is shining, you are feeling energized. And if you like today's workout, please give it a thumbs up. And also if you could share it, that would be amazing. Spread the word on these free fun home workouts. And if you can click in the link and come and do a cool down stretch with me and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.